Um, it's Mike tonight, and I'm coming on here to tell y'all that life in itself, um, Life in itself is just a blessing, but, um, I'm learning that every day that you don't, like, you don't let other people, um, you don't let other people or what other people think of you or what they say about you um get you down um there's a lot of people that they will let you down because they're not in your shoes and you know and like i said It's been a long, long road. It's been a long, long road home. Um, I can say for myself that... I know for some people, if you think that you had it like all together and you had no mistakes in your life, well, you know what? Good for you. Because Mike has been there before. And like I'll say, and I'll say it on this um, live video as I speak, um, I know a lot of y'all don't know me personally. Um, I know y'all only know me by like social media, but if you would come to Michigan and get to know Mike, y'all be like, oh, he cool, he down to earth, you know, he's friendly with everybody, and. Um, I can say that, um, I've been through a lot of experience things in my lifetime. As far as, um, religion goes, as far as denominations, I've been in a lot of denominal churches before. Um, and I know a lot of people, they always question me, like, Mike, like, why do you talk about your family so much? Why do you do this so much? Why come you, you're different from a lot of your peers and people? Like, I don't care that the times are changing. I'm not going to change with the times. But I will say this, that I will still hold to the old-fashioned holding this way. I'm not just because everybody else is doing their thing. They're out there doing their thing. They're out there doing this. They're doing all that other stuff. That's them. But I'm not changing for the people. And the more you get in your heart that you don't that you don't want to like be like other people that's out there in this world. They looking at you. They saying, "Oh, look what kind of life they're living." And for most people, and I'll say this publicly. Um, because this is Instagram and I can share my thoughts and things that, um, my experiences with other people, um, so that I can bless other people. It's not that I can get like glory or any of that. No, I'm not here for that. And as a man... And men out there that follow me on social media, on YouTube, Instagram, listen to me good. Yes, Mike has shared, shed some tears. Mike has cried his eyes out until they were bloodshot red. Yes, Mike has prayed to the point where he didn't know what to do. And he just sat and, he, and I cried. A lot of people, they will try to judge you by how you live your life, what you do, and what you don't. 
And I'm here to tell every person that's watching right now, if you're in a battle, if you are in a situation where you don't know what to do, God says turn it to Him. Turn it to God. Go to God in prayer. God's a prayer answering God. Sometimes you don't understand certain things that we go through in life. But I know a God. He can answer every prayer request that we have. Known and unknown. Unspoken and spoken. So I'm going to tell y'all something right now. For some of y'all people who think that you got it together. You never had no mistakes in your life. Or you never been through nothing. I've been there, friend. I've been to a lot of places. And I'll say this. I've been in a lot of denominal churches. And I've seen, I see, I have seen a lot of things that God's opening my eyes to understanding. And I know I'm getting real teary-eyed right now. But that's okay because these are the tears of joy. Because like the Bible says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And, um... And I'm here to tell y'all something. On my Christian walk with God. And I know a lot of people don't believe this. But I still believe this. I believe that when you leave a certain denominal. Or when you leave a certain denomination. I believe that you ought to get re-baptized. Um, in that denomination. Um, now, what I'm about to share with a lot of y'all, um, it this is something that before I really understood my family's heritage and what we stood for and what we believe. And things like that. And that's why I cherish it so much now. And I'll go into detail. So most of y'all know that. um, Most of y'all know that. Follow me on Instagram or on YouTube. Y'all know that I am a PK. PK stands for Pastor's Kid. So um, on my mother's side of the family. I'm third generation Pentecostal Holiness Trinitarian Koji. And on my um and on my dad's side of the family, I'm sixth generation missionary Baptist. Um and before that, um I didn't know any of this and um I know a lot of people who are watching they always say well Mike you you know you're you're a good guy you're a funny person but I'm just gonna share some experiences with you guys that I have encountered maybe you haven't encountered them or you haven't been where I've been but I can tell you that um with the help of God he's gonna um he's gonna uh, get me through um to let other people know that even though you've been where you've been God still he still loves you um so I'm gonna jump into it real quick and I know a lot of people are leaving and jumping on and jumping off that's okay I don't care um but Anyway, um, when I first, um, received salvation, and this was before my fam, I found out my family's heritage, uh, really knew my family's heritage, our original Christian heritage, um, on my mother's side of the family. And my father's side of the family. Um, so, my, so, me 
and my brother when we were about like 16. Yeah, we were about 16, 15, 14 in that age bracket. You know, because when you're that age, you're still going to, you know, um, mom and dad's church and, 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 and you're doing everything that um, you know to do and stuff. So, um, when we were about those ages, me and my um, oldest brother, we told ourselves, we said, you know what, we're going to leave mom and dad's church. We immediately, when my oldest brother turned 18, he left. And when I turned 18, I left. We both ended up in, if you all know, apostolic, Pentecostal um, churches. That's where we started out at. We started out in the apostolic, Pentecostal churches. And yes, me and my um, oldest brother, we did get baptized at an apostolic Pentecostal church. Now, I remind you, this was before we found out our family's heritage, before we found out what our family um, original heritage was. So, after we, you know, got really involved in the uh, apostolic Pentecostal faith and their doctrine and all that we kept going to their churches kept going to their services and just plugging in where we could and doing what we could and we we're like oh my gosh man this is a life of freedom this is just freedom no more dead church no more no more born preaching and and none of that and so you know i thought to myself oh my god like so then, like, after, after, when I turned, like, 18, up until I was about 21, I stopped going to apostolic churches, and then I'm more geared towards, like, our kind of a church, Pentecostal, Holiness, Trinitarian, um, church, um, and when I was, I'm a backtrack, when I was 18, I sat down with my mom's mother and my dad's, and my dad, yeah, because I didn't sit down with his mom, I just sat down with my dad because my dad's from Mississippi, so, yeah, but, um, anyway, um, I sat down with them, and we discussed about, you know, things of that nature, about our family's heritage, about what is our original Christian heritage. What are our Christian values? And so my grandma told her side, you know, from her side and from her family, um, from her mom, my great-grandma Clark, um, to my grandma, which is my mom's mother, and to my cousin, who now, she's in heaven now, but um, they were all raised at a Kojic church and started out in Virginia and then went, came here to Michigan and joined a local um, Kojic church here in my town and they stayed they stayed there until, um, until my grandma, um, moved out, uh, to the country, and the only church that was out there where they lived was a Baptist church, so they started going to the Baptist church, and, um, yes, my grandmother, she spoke in tongues. Yes, my grandmother, she wore her long dresses to the floor, had long Indian hair. Um, they couldn't go to the movies. They couldn't go to the, um, they couldn't go to like certain 
uh, certain amusement parks, uh, they couldn't wear jewelry, couldn't wear makeup, um, and, um, on my dad side of the family, his mother and his mother's mother and her mother and father, my grandma's mother and father, they were all raised in the missionary Baptist church. Um, my grandma went to a local church there in their town and then they moved and they went to another church there in their town in Mississippi and then the third church that they went to was the local church there in their town in Mississippi also and the church where we had my grandma's funeral which is my dad's mom uh, that's the church that um, my dad he got baptized in and he got saved um, and that's where we had my grandma's uh, funeral and uh, and everything and I won't never I won't never regret my heritage um, and um some nights I cry, some nights I just worship God because it hurts when a when a loved one that you love is really dear in your heart and even though that they're gone or even though that you didn't know know them because it was before your time, you still have that hard feeling in your heart. You still have that like you wanna cry, you wanna scream. And so, after that, that whole learning about my family's heritage, learning about our background, learning about who was in what religion, who was, and I recently, when I turned about 23, I recently, um, Told God, you know, God, I want to, I want to re, I guess in a sense, get re-saved. I got re-saved all over again, and, um, I got the Holy Ghost all over again, and, um, I just been living this life ever since, and I don't look back at the other churches that I was affiliated with because, I'm doing and I'm living my family's heritage and that legacy was passed down to me so I'm going to keep living that legacy as long as I live and I'm here on the earth I'm going to live that legacy I'm not worried about other people trying to persuade me to do what they want me to do what they think what's best for me I'm li I'm living a legacy that was handed down to me like that song by Sister, uh, I don't know if you ever heard this person, but her name is Sister, uh, Sister Brim. She's from, uh, Illinois, I believe. But she said, in the song that she wrote, she says, this old time religion had to get it for myself. When the preacher talked about it and how it really worked, I had to get it, had to get it for myself. And and it's talking about how when the legacy is passed down to you, you have to live that legacy out. You don't go off and, oh, just because they got this going on, they got that going on. You don't go down the road to another church just because of what they got to offer. Um, And I thank God for giving me that old-time religion. In spite, in spite of people who want to ridicule, make fun of us, Pentecostal, Trinitarian, Holiness people. I've learned to, I've learned to pray for people who talk about us, who like to dog us out, who like to make fun of us because we're different. But, you know, like I said, I'm thankful for this legacy and to my, to my mima, uh, and to my granny and 
to my dad's mom, my grandma, um, and my grandpa. Um, I really do um, appreciate this legacy that you have left before us. Um, I know my great grandma. She um, she's probably glad that someone like myself is living this legacy and same with my dad's mom and my dad's um father i know they're glad that i'm living this legacy and sometimes you really have to learn your family's legacy and the heritage that's been passed down to you so to my me mom which is my great grandma i call her my me mom because that's what she is to me my great grandma clark I love you, and I know you're over in glory, probably, you know, you're probably dancing on the streets of gold right now, um, and to my great-grandma, I love you to the moon and back, even though it's been, um, two years now that you've been gone, and I really do miss you a lot, and, um, to my grandpa, same, I miss you a lot, and, uh, Guys, don't ever forget your legacy. Don't ever forget your heritage. Don't ever forget what God has done for you. Don't ever forget it. I want people to know that Mike hasn't had it all together, friend. I might look like it, but I have not. And I'm just letting people know I am a living testimony that God, if he did it for me, he can do it for you. He can do it. So if you feel like you're alone, know this. Trust God and live it out. And don't be nervous or scared to talk about your heritage or your legacy or what's been passed down to you. And just remember... This old time religion had to get it for myself. How the preacher talked about it and how it really worked. Had to get it. Had to get it for myself. May God bless you. I love each and every one of you and hope to see you guys soon. Bye now.